What's up, everyone? Welcome back. I'm Simon Toastkin. That's Buff Pro, and this is Gunner TV. And we're watching this video called Only Fan Pimps Are Delusional. And it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be great. So be sure to check out Gunner TV. There's going to be a link down in this video in the description. You can go check it out yourself, the whole thing without us talking over it. And uh, also subscribe to us if you're not subscribed because that would be super cool. You know, very uncool to not be subscribed and watch our videos, right? Yeah, don't be uncool. Yeah, see, I'm, even, I'm subscribed to Gunner too, so because I'm cool. Be cool. OnlyFans, a platform where content might range from the innocuous swimsuit pic all the way to incredibly specific pornographic videos Whoa. involving human feet. <laughs> dirty feet. <laughs> what is the dirty Dang. feet? Big, strong, giantess feet stomp out entire Lego village with sound. Who's paying for that? Wow. Wow. A I mean, whole Lego village. Obviously, with sounds? <laughs> someone with taste is obviously watching that. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes, yes. I still need to start my only dads, you know, my, my dad, my dad bod OnlyFans. You know, it's just nice. It's just like me with like normal pictures, you know, but I'll, I'll charge five bucks to see. <laughs> just wholesomeness, wholesomeness. Whoever you're following or whatever you're looking for on OnlyFans, it's almost always the case to be somewhat sexual in nature, which is why it was very strange when the company oh. made the decision to ban all sexual content on the platform this time. Well, maybe I shouldn't take wholesome family photos from my kids then if that's the key. Yeah, okay, never mind. I take Ooh, that back. I didn't, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't think about that until I said it. Yeah, Mary's probably like watching this right now just like, what the what? <laughs> no! <laughs> there will always be 20-something year old dude bros looking to make money off of it without all that gross, icky work stuff. Enter the mm. douchiest OnlyFans Here pimps on this side of the Miami River. Closer look agency. DM for free clout. They got free clout. What? Wow. Nice. Just tossing it out, man. Heck yeah. All right, now that currently they have 200, 214,000 followers. What do they have at the time of this video recording? They've lost followers. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Let's awesome. go. Awesome. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. <laughs> Puff, you dropped out of college with your best friend and became millionaires by 22. Course coming soon. Well, I'll give you a course? Wow. It's the world we live in now, Dane. I think this world is ending, though, when like money was just freaking flying everywhere. You know, everyone was just freaking head stacks and stuff. Now that we're, yeah. you know, the, the global economy is crashing and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, time to break out them ramen packs. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i already got him i gotta get ready i don't know what's gonna happen if things keep getting bad with like advertisers and stuff how am i gonna make money oh please i guess the only fans of course oh of course there you go there oh. it is now i can't see their financials so i can't say for sure if they're millionaires or not but boy do they like to tell us they are with constant flexing on their socials or for some reason their money counting machine oh yeah yeah gotta have a, have a money <laughs> yeah i mean i don't know why do you need a money counting machine if you get like, OnlyFans isn't paying in cash, right? <laughs> that's how that's how they accept. That's the only form of payment they accept. Right, right. Are they, from are their they, clients. Are they drug dealers? Or I'm sure I'm sure he's going to get into whatever's going on here because this is like a you know this is a we're only two minutes into an 18 minute video, but um oh yeah. The, the red flags already like we got these fancy cars we have our money counting machine we're just showing how successful we are and it's pretty much a telltale sign a red flag that they're not actually that successful but they're trying to seem like they are because that it's like a marketing strategy now look how successful yeah. we are you could join us and give us some of your money they're basically like an mcn for only fans which mcns if you don't know on the youtube side were historically gigantic scams in my opinion, <laughs> give us 50% of your revenue because YouTube doesn't really know what to do with us doing gameplay videos because it, it's fair use is kind of crazy. So you should get one so they can take legal liability for you, but they won't. Uh, they'll just take half your money and then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and still leave you at claim. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, yeah, MCNs are dead, so that's good. Uh, now you have companies that get brand deals for you, which was essentially what MCN should have been with to begin with, really, is, you know, we'll reach out to companies, right. we'll, we'll represent you and all that stuff. Uh, and maybe what these guys are doing, maybe, I don't know, are they getting the, the these, these people that they're signed with brand deals, or are they just taking money so that they can post their pictures on their own accounts and they have mm. inflated numbers because of, you know, botting or something. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get into all that. But so far, just from what we've watched already, that's immediately what I think of. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yo, Spence, why do you have a third phone? People just don't do that. It's simple, really. I'm not... Oh. Wow! Oh. Oh. That was oh. the coolest thing I've ever seen. What are these glasses? 
Jeez. What if what if this what dude, a pimp? What if this dude came and started talking to you, girl? What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> She's gone, bro. You know, I can't get her back after that man shows up. Ken, look at that. What do you, what do you even mm. need? What do you need three phones for? Like I can imagine if you like if you have one that's like your business and you don't want like people knowing your private information. Sure, but I mean, you can't answer all three at the same time. So what's really the? I don't know. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right there. That's a good way. So, you know, I walk in, I see my hundred dollar bill, remind myself how rich I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, that's, that's a, I need that I need to give me one of those that is tight yeah just give me a big old picture of a hundred dollar wow. bill so whenever I'm starving and shivering I can't pay for anything I'm like huh, why did I pay five hundred dollars for this one hundred dollar bill picture <laughs> Jeff what we got for you today what's up Mr. Spence so today we got some Wagyu we're gonna make yes. some fire they're gonna make some fire Dang. Make some fire. Heck yeah, my man. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they got the chef over here. I mean, what is that? What is that? Starbucks bag over there? What, what, what do they got here? Wingstop? <laughs> what do we got today? Absolutely nothing. We just got utensils and stuff laid out. And we and don't have a garbage bag. Yeah, a garbage bag hanging off the thing <laughs> over here. You know, the paper towel's not even on the paper towel thing. We got whatever this cleaner is over here. Yeah, we, we are ready to cook, man. We are sanitized. Fire. Nice. Man, man, bro. Bro. Oh, appreciate you. A look into a piece of my day living as a millionaire in Miami. Yep. I mean, I tell you, if you're a millionaire in Miami, why do you have a freaking like, what, what is this? <laughs> it's just like, when you throw your keys here. What? You got a table just in the middle of a hallway. You go to trip and you go to stub your toe on that. I guess that's why he's wearing is that shoes a on the rock? inside. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's the moonlight. Yeah, you're right. That got the yeah, moonlight. It's, it's red. <laughs> that's oh, from God. the moon. Straight from the moon. Their entire business at the end of the day is social media growth for OnlyFans girls. Mm. Something you never actually have to leave your home to do. Yet they flex in the <laughs> douchiest way possible as if they're a GTA character. That's the same thing I say with the MCN stuff. I go down to the office and there's like freaking 300 people working that thing just looking at their computers just kind of sitting there and I'm like... What do you guys do? What are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you gonna do? What do you do? That man is playing Galaga. Apparently very important things like emails. Three years ago, I had a dream. I ran the biggest OnlyFans agency in the world. Okay. This B-roll isn't really proof. It's just kind of you on a boat with some girls wasting singles. Yeah, them dollar bills, man. Woo, you know he's rich throwing dollar bills out in the water. <laughs> They're surely going into the water behind you. Something you might have... Nope. Is <laughs> that the second angle? Hey, catch those dollars. Uh, wow. <laughs> we, don't wanna, we don't wanna litter. How do they... Grant G Ganley? 1.2 million followers. This post has like 20 comments on it. All right. Yeah, about the same thing. Geez, how do you have so many followers and so little interact? Okay. There's definitely something up here. Okay. Yeah, there's something. <laughs> something is afoot here. Something is up. Actually, I shouldn't. I don't need to do all this research because I'm sure that Gunner's already done it for me. Let's just watch the video and enjoy it. I'm not a nerd. I'm not going to sit there at a computer all day. I don't code. I don't do anything. You know, I just look good for the cameras. What do you do? <laughs> what, what, what do you do? <laughs> it just looks good for the cameras. Nothing exudes more confidence than incredibly shifty eye contact while you boast about your achievements. Uh, I'm 6'3", <laughs> I'm jacked, uh, I'm obviously good looking. Obviously good looking? Calm down, ROTC. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Oh, that's that's the. I mean, I guess that's that's how you you're, you get to be successful. I don't know. It's it's weird. Wait. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. No, are you? Oh, uh, well, uh, Gunner and 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 this man here kind of look related. Oh. Like, do you see similarities here? Uh. Hmm. No. Hmm. This is a shout out, man. Don't, don't is, you talk about my boy Gunner like that? Right? Of... How dare you? <laughs> You see that chain gunner's out right now? He's he, <laughs> It's weird because like I guess talking about Andrew Tate and even like the Liver King stuff happened recently, like how you do this charlatan kind of just marketing strategy and it works for some people, but then it like fails for others. Cause I don't I don't know how successful these guys actually are, but it, it can't. It can't like I don't know. It doesn't no, right? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Whatever. It just, <laughs> I have no idea. Something is missing that is not making any sense to me at all. And that is where the money is actually coming from. They haven't been doing it that long. How much are they taking from OnlyFans creators? And what value are they actually adding, if any? You know? Right. So, anyway, yeah. Want to be Tate so bad. Who? Nice cover up, Grant. Pretend you don't know who that is. Who? <laughs> I've never heard of uh, this Tate person. How could? How can you not hear about Tate? I mean, you freaking like say the name, and then all of a sudden your 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 Google or your Amazon Prime account hears of it or something in the corner, and all of a sudden you just get recommended his videos constantly, even though he's been banned. It's ridiculous, man. It's like the one person <laughs> in the world that I've never looked for ever, and he's just been jammed down my throat by like 
the algorithms. Who? Physically, I was stronger, bigger, more vascular, and better than my bosses. While the guy ahead of me, who was still a scrub, right, but he's a supervisor, made more money than me. Tate says it very well, right? Strong body, strong mind. Who? <laughs> I almost had like a seizure listening to that. Holy crap. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> I'm more jacked than him. Why is he making more money than me? Duh. <laughs> I'll, I'll beat him up. Don't worry. I am more vascular. Like, okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Now, you know, they're sitting in your gaming chair, so already I don't trust your i don't trust you at all like you don't know what the comfort is <laughs> you don't know what comfort is that thing sucks even with the pillow pretty obvious mm, that they're bandwagoning mm. off of tate deliberately but was the goal to get bullied by someone like me online for attention or did they actually just become tiny tates because they can't think for themselves <laughs> tiny tates i love that <laughs> But if your goal was attention, congrats, you got it. Yay! How's your soul doing? Are you You're welcome. We're also watching this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very interesting that they lost followers since this last uh, video. But I mean, that also tends to happen if you buy an Don't account. Don't have a business model. All right. Well, if you if you mm. get an account that wasn't grown uh, organically, you know. Right. Bots get shut down. People that did subscribe to are like, who is this now? Unfollow, you know. Because there's ways to get verified accounts. Like, you can buy them. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Hey, on uh, Twitter, you can pay $8, actually, let me write now. This down. Yeah, you can pay. <laughs> Twitter's ahead of the game. Everyone's like, why would I pay $8 for a check mark? There's people out there paying thousands for check marks on other platforms. So, you know, it's kind of cutting that whole market out. So, let's take a closer look at Closer Look Agency, yes, their I only fans it. business that he just claimed was super easy for him. Like, the freaking, even the, even like, that graphic design is trash. <laughs> <laughs> that is bad. I can break down their strategy for free. And oh. Welcome to Business 101. I'm your professor, Gunnar Gargantuan. Yes. Credibility. If you expect to make it in this industry, you can't be a nobody. Mm. Well, actually, you can, but you have to make it look like you're not. Oh, let's get your Yes, yes exactly. I when I was 21. Fair. Look at these cars. You know, you know, dude, I don't know, man. <laughs> I always hate when people flex like they're nice cars because uh, maybe I'm just a stick in the mud, but it's, it's such a waste of money such a waste yeah it's a lot of money to spend on a car that that's, can only that's legally just, go the speed limit yeah still. it just goes the speed limit it can just sit there like you take it on the weekend and like drive it around the lot like eight times so people look at you and that's kind of it you right know? you ain't gonna stop the lady who's gonna hit your car with her door uh at walmart either way you know what's happening so it becomes like it, it, you like you like freak out like anyone gets near it i don't know man like i i have like a freaking little little bitty hatchback you know, you know, it's just like a little, right? Gets me where I need yeah. to go. Whatever. I thought about getting a really <laughs> nice car. I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll get like a really nice car. Then I'm like, you know what? I drive like once every two weeks. <laughs> Probably a massive waste of money. And so then every time I'm mm. seeing people flexing their cars, I'm just like, wow, you're either you just have so much extra money that you don't care or you're terrible with it. Are they currently successful or was this just step one of the plan? I oh. had to find out. So I started looking around for clues and I stumbled upon a lead when I saw this TikTok on Spencer's second page, McManus Wisdom. I really just Oh, McManus Wisdom is second page, which has 270 followers. So yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually when someone has a second page, it... it you probably usually if you have a following you you kind of get the following over there too so maybe that's more of evidence of the numbers are fake anyway a simple claim really not too much to work with you wrong dead wrong you'd be as you forgot my old job before moist critical gave me my entire youtube career hey charlie bless up charlie <laughs> yeah you can name my firstborn but nice. I was don't worry don't uh, don't ever don't let charlie do that no, don't, don't, I mean, say that. <laughs> But I was a real estate agent. What? You're a real estate agent? Jesus Christ. God, I thought, well, at least you got out of it. At least, you, at least you're now doing something useful in the world, like, you know, exposing people because, God dang, I hate real estate agents. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that suit uh, looking clean. It does look clean. I recognize this building. I won't dox the man and say the name of it, but here's footage from their website. You can see the two towers with a conjoined bridge. The pool and mm. hot tub layout are the same. You can see the metro rail running below it just oh, as it he does knows here. He knows exactly where he is. Pretty creepy video segment. On the contrary, <laughs> it's <laughs> Still kind of creepy, but uh, it's important because I'm pretty sure this building only does rentals. Oh, he called him. Hi, Julie. This is Gunnar Gargantuan. I had a quick question. I saw uh, someone online say that they bought the penthouse unit in the North Tower for $5 million. But I had a quick question. Are you guys only rentals or do you guys also sell units? We don't sell units. That's a total lie. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye. 
Shocked. <laughs> Betrayed. Shocked. Wow. <gasps> Exposing my pearls right now. Oh my gosh. They didn't buy it. Oh. <laughs> Just like renting the cars, wow. like I was talking about. You go, you go for, record your rap video. You know, you go rent a supercar for you know five hundred bucks for the day or whatever. Or can or gonna rent it, Julia, and she doesn't actually work for the company. <sighs> Look, don't even get me started on how like people <laughs> trust YouTube videos is absolute truth. Look, I I have bias to this video. Uh, I like what he's saying. I trust what he says. Okay, he's right. When you go to manage someone, you need credibility, right? And so that's what school does. You know, you graduate, it gives you the illusion of credibility. The illusion. Like your accounts being fake verified with- Ah, fake verified, yes. All right, here we go. Wow. Right, what's the next mm -hmm. step, professor? Acquisition. You're gonna need to start reaching out to OnlyFans creators and signing them on your agency. Typically, this is done through DM outreach and setting up calls. This is whenever you're a new creator on any platform and you start getting all the emails of people wanting to work with you. It's people doing very similar things, uh, trying to scoop up newer creators who don't know any better. They're coming for you. They're trying to get them dollars. Either that or it's a virus. <laughs> One of the two. Show your future clients that this is the lifestyle you lead and that you what, know what, what you're is doing. What is that? The, the, this, is like, this is like a normal, you just go to a nightclub and you can just pay them to do that, right? I got something for you. No way, what's this from? Your website. You're lying. No. So the other thing that, that, that really sticks out on that is that if they are paying them, if all their money is going through their business and then they pay them, they write them a check in the end. I, I personally <laughs> only accept my, my cash payments in plastic bags as well. You know, yeah. it's, it's kind of, yeah. You know, I don't want no dirty money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to keep it clean. By by keeping it in the, in the bag. Well, a lot of MCN, MCNs back in the day would do this. Like you would be under their umbrella, and all the money would go into their account, and they would pay you what you know you were owed. And they they had a clause in their contract to where you could audit them at any time. Uh, you get like two audits every year or something if you wanted to use them, but you had to pay for the audit, so no one ever did it. Um, mm. But now I operate on you can invoice me, and I will pay you. <laughs> you. You are not getting my money, and then I have to wait on you to pay me. Heck no. No way. <laughs> not at all. This, this, there's a couple of things in this world that people don't mess with me with. My family and my money. All right, Dane? Yep. <laughs> you, you don't mess with those two things. And I can add some more to the list. That's about right. Yeah, yeah. Just no, no games with that. So if you're, if you're signed up to a service to where if you're a content creator and you're the platform pays someone else and then they pay you, you may be in, in a shady deal. Not saying they're all shady. But that's a very slippery slope and a, a kind of a telltale sign, in my opinion, that you better watch out. We'll oh, show man. payment receipts ranging from a thousand dollars to two hundred thousand. What? What? Like this doesn't mean anything. Like this literally is just numbers. Like what, what is this? <laughs> of course, we have no way of actually knowing if those picks are from their own accounts or yeah. not. But I just think it's shitty to advertise and act like anybody can make it in this business when a very small minority of OnlyFans creators make any money at all. It is true though. Like the what well, part of what he said? Like only a small amount of people can, can like truly make it in, in any in any business really like to the top level. Um, right. And so. If you have like what these guys have and you are selling the idea that you will help these people grow, of course, it, it's very, it looks good to the people that are trying to get started and trying to get go, right? Like, yeah, okay, oh, you can help me. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll sign up, you know, whatever. It's a percentage. Cool. But it's, it, that's the scam part, right? It's because. <laughs> yeah. What, what exactly? They, I, they can't. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way. Well, there's also usually like <laughs> as far as back to the MC and stuff goes and uh, like what these guys, like just the general business model that's being used. There's usually a hub, which we saw. We went and looked at the hub on it uh, on Instagram. They post their pictures onto that. And so the hub grows off of their work as well. So it's it, the whole thing is very self-serving. But the idea is the more our business grows, the more we can help other people. But really, they're just helping right. themselves in the end. So. Kind of like, kind of like we was with Maker, you know, Maker grew to this big company and Disney bought them out for like $500 million uh, on the backs of creators and then basically got shut down because Disney was like, what do you guys do anyway? <laughs> Why did we buy this? <laughs> I think it's still there, but I don't know. Wow. Like it's, yeah. It, 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 yeah. What, what a. <laughs> those, are, those are the real crooks, man. Out here in the daylight. But the, I liked a lot of the individuals that I worked with when I was with MCM, but the overall like. Even like contract negotiations, they told me it's like we we also sell ads, you know, 
on your channel to help you make more money. And I was like, cool, how much more money am I making from that? And no one could ever answer me. No one could tell me. I was like, so really? you're making me more money, but we don't know how much? Like, there's not a metric for that? You're just guesstimating? Uh, anywhere? <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah, and then I'm like, well, and then at the I end, <laughs> at the end, I was like, what about brand deals? Like, the sales team, like, fell apart. Like, the whole thing ended up being just... Looking back, Ooh. I had to sign up with an MCN uh at that time on youtube because of the legality of the stuff but i should have got out like a long like i should have i should have went like solo a long yeah. time ago because it was just I, I paid more than i got out of it definitely you got your first client <laughs> what's next Jeez! all right marketing time <laughs> for instance on tiktok that means non-stop thirst trap posting of their different mm, clients mm, all over their mm, fake verified mm, accounts mm, one of yep, them being yep, yep. woman world with 9.3 million Jeez, followers woman world wow. Sanct all right hang on i got a, a simp sanctuary <laughs> 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 nice woman world i mean we can't they're probably freaking banned. Couldn't find this account. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, very good. What about Simp Sanctuary? Let's see. Hope Simp. my house didn't show up when he typed in Simp Sanctuary. <laughs> like, Please, not me. <laughs> <laughs> One million followers, which actually at the time of recording this video, they have now deleted all their TikToks oh. and changed their profile picture. And at the time of recording and editing this video, the account's gone. <laughs> That's like, wow. I don't even know why. Look, he's got it all taken care of, Dane. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I want to provide commentary to like give our own take on things, but it's just like everything I could think to say what I would look up. He's already taken care of it. What a, what a Chad. <laughs> That's why his name is Gunner Gargantuan. <laughs> Gunner Gargantuan, let's go. Well, congrats, students. You've passed my class. If oh, you follow done these it. steps, you too can be a human piece of garbage. But <gasps> remember, you can now afford to have your name held up by bottle girls that live Miami. So I guess- Yeah, I was gonna say it earlier. <laughs> Anyways, that's the video today, Pimps. Oh, be sure to thank like- Thank you, thank you, Gunner. Yeah, we will, we, we are. But yeah, that was, uh, I like that Hardcore, one. man. I tell you what, if Gunner Gargantuan- <laughs> <laughs> Did all this research, right? And he had my boy from Andrew from Channel 5, dude. That would be like the... Pff, dude, they'd expose everybody. Yeah. And Andrew would be there with the interviews. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm with it. You're with it. Dude, are, yeah. these, are, these trust, are these trust fund kids? Like, who are these guys, man? Like, anyway, whatever. They gotta be. Oh, geez. That is, that is the video. That is the OnlyFans pimps are delusional from Gunner TV. Like I said, go check him out because the stuff is good. He makes a lot of good stuff. I enjoy all the videos that he has on there. And uh, you should as well. So, today's your birthday. Happy birthday. So, to us, my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Be cool.